What is up YouTube? Welcome to like 1.5 weeks out full day of eating. This is where we're down to the wire eating absolutely nothing. So I'm gonna be taking you through what I'm gonna eat all day, every day. I had a great sleep last night. I don't know what happened, but I actually dropped three pounds. And that's the most I've dropped this entire prep. My weight has been so stubborn this year, as I told you in the last video. So I'm really happy about that. I feel pretty exhausted, but it's time for breakfast, so it's good. It's already 11.40. I had an hour of cardio to do today, I had some abs, and yeah. But I'm gonna take you through what my breakfast is. So every single morning, I start with a big glass of water and ice. It's filled with ice right now. I was starting to make it before, but I do one scoop of daily greens in there. I do one scoop of the GI product and I do a scoop of glutamine. This has honestly been helping my digestion so much. I feel like I've talked about this already in a video, so I'm not gonna go into depth, but this has been helping my digestion a lot in the morning and it tastes really good to have like a chocolate drink. I also put in a scoop of fiber. I'm eating a little bit less veggies right now, just like trying to cut everything out, but I'm still trying to keep my fiber in, so I put this supplement in. I blend the shit out of this and drink it with my breakfast. There's a lot of ice in there on purpose, so I just let that sit while I make my eggs. And then when I make my eggs, blend it even more and then eat it all together. So breakfast, the real food, is not very exciting at all but I'm gonna spray this pan so it doesn't get shit stuck to it. 378 grams of egg whites, that's close enough. So I let that cook up. I kind of just let it cook until it's cooked. And I had an egg somewhere, there it is. And I have one single egg. So breakfast consists of that little shake, 375 grams of egg whites, and one egg. That's it, so. Yeah, I'm gonna make it and probably cry because that's all I get to eat. But because it's so low carb. All right, so meal number two. I almost said three, meal number two. This is my pre-workout meal and this is my meal that I need to like really enjoy because it just like puts me like ready to train, ready to get going. So I have protein content, instead of doing 190 grams of ground turkey, I do 90 grams of ground turkey in like a salad with some cucumber and some romaine lettuce, which I have here. And then my carb source, where I get my carbs for the gym, I have 45 grams of oats, which I just put on the stove here because it's delicious and Today is exciting because today is going to be the first day that I put the sebum cinnamon crunch cereal protein in my oats and we're going to see how they taste. Oh, it tastes delicious drinking of water. I haven't put it in oats yet so today is a big test day for that. Alright, here it is. It smells freaking good right now so we're going to mix this up in the oats and equal moment of truth of how well it actually mixes. All right, so final product, the most random meal ever, but I got 90 grams of ground turkey with some shredded lettuce and a little cucumber. All right, so meal number three, I got caught up at the gym chatting and was there for way too long so I feel like fucked up right now and very hungry. So to get to the point, so we're um, again very grateful for Courtney because she had everything already cooked for me waiting. I had some zucchini pre-cooked in there and I added it in here. So not a lot of zucchini but a little bit. So I got a random amount of zucchini, I got 200 grams of white fish and then I have 100 grams of rice. I've been using this bagged rice because Courtney found an organic one that the only ingredients are water and organic long grain rice. So if I cook a pot of rice right now, it'll last me like two weeks because I have 100 grams a day really. So I just have this bag of rice. This lasts me two days and I weigh it out. It's the same thing every single time, very accurate. And that's it. So, 
little sad, but it is what it is. And then, you know the trick. Shredded lettuce to get shredded. So we do that. Add a little bit of lettuce onto it. Just a nice little handful. Mix that up with none other than the goat of prep. Yellow mustard, 365. Shout out to fucking Whole Foods coming in strong. But yeah, that's it. 200 grams of fish, 100 grams of rice, and a little bit of veggies. Absolutely delicious, post workout. Not getting huge, getting shredded. But this is my last, this is not my last meal, holy crap. This is my fourth meal. I have some asparagus underneath there, and then I have some white fish, and then I'm gonna add some lettuce. So I got like 100 grams of asparagus, 200 grams of fish, and well, like a handful, as usual, of shredded lettuce. That's 60, 70 grams. And I now have a fish salad, which sounds absolutely disgusting, but doesn't taste that bad, believe it or not. So what goes on the fish salad is, so what goes on the salad is some coconut aminos, and that's it. And with this meal, I like to have some nice magnesium calm drink. This is a new flavor Courtney got. We normally go with orange or raspberry lemonade, but she got a sweet lemon this time. Uh, find often when you're in prep, you can become deficient in magnesium, and magnesium can help you relax at night, but also helps you go to the bathroom which I need the help, as much help as I can get, because when you're very low carb, high protein, and you're just eating like no food, for some reason your digestion goes to shit. So having a little bit of that at night while I enjoy my fish salad, and that's gonna be meal number four. So instead of having a meal of turkey and then a meal of eggs and egg whites. I'm having turkey in my egg whites with two whole eggs and no oil on one of my meals. So it ends up being pretty much the exact same, maybe a little bit less calories, <coughs> but we're getting shredded, so it doesn't matter. So combining my last two meals right now, only because it's super late, but it's gonna be 100 grams of ground turkey, 250 grams of, 280 grams of egg whites, and then two whole eggs, so I'm gonna put the egg whites and the turkey together on there, and then I'm gonna do two over easy sunny side up eggs, depends on how skillful I'm feeling, and mix it all together, and that's gonna be my last meal. So I managed to get some over easy eggs in there, perfect. The egg is still nice and soft and didn't break the yolk, so that was perfect. But that is going to be a wrap on today's full day of eating. Not super in depth, my brain is not functioning super great. Like I said, it was a slow day, I'm not eating a lot of food, but I'm feeling good. I'm feeling motivated, I'm feeling excited right now, and this is probably the hardest I've pushed in a, in a while at this far out. I've been eating like this since a little over two weeks out, and it's obviously super low calorie, cardio is super high, but my weight was being stubborn, like really stubborn, and I just had to do a big push. And I found there's like a threshold that when you start pushing really hard, like you get under a certain amount of carbs and you're doing a certain amount of cardio that you just like don't care anymore. Like if I was having 150, 160 grams of rice in a few meals, it makes me more hungry and like more tired and thinking about food more. But when every meal is like so low and you start to cut out like even more vegetables and you cut out like carbs in pretty much every meal is like except for two and everything's just like the same salad or the same fish, whatever, you just start to care a lot less and it starts to become a lot more easy to get through. Your body just starts functioning on less. I don't know, it's also maybe just because I've been dieting longer, I've gotten a little more used to it. This isn't something I suggest anyone tries ever because it sucks and it's not healthy, but I'm trying to win Olympia, I'm trying to win number three to be exact. So pushing the limits, going hard and enjoying every second of it. I can't even remember if I said this, but I think it was around 1600 calories, maybe a little bit more, I'm not 100% sure, but this is what I've been eating to get shredded, make weight, 
classe Philippe numéro 3.